Ettore Arco Isidoro Bugatti. You might be able to tell what this person is associated with from the last name, but just to ensure we are on the same page, Ettore Bugatti was an Italian-French automobile designer and manufacturer, best known as the founder and proprietor of automobiles e Bugatti. And just to tell you more, this company introduced the world to the infamous Bugatti, a car brand recognized for fanciness, incredible speed, and a huge price tag. But besides super-fast top-tier sports cars, Mr. Bugatti's legacy also entails some excellent rules for getting rich. In this video, we take a closer look at the top 7 tips for building wealth we can borrow from Mr. Ettore Bugatti. Stay tuned! Before we start, make sure you subscribe to Insight Booth and have turned on notifications so you can know each time we share new inspiring insights. Like the video too, as it helps the YouTube algorithm get it out to others who may need these tips too. So what are the top rules for getting rich with no money from Ettore Bugatti? Let's dive in. 1. Be a visionary. Ettore's ideas were simply ahead of time, and let's just go deeper into that. In the early 20th century, cars were just getting introduced to the market, meaning no one was even thinking about cars becoming an integral mode of transport. In fact, most people did not consider it a long-term solution to transport issues, but only viewed it as a passing phase. Cars were only valued in Europe, specifically by the French creme de la creme, as they enjoyed racing them. That's right, most would be shocked if you had told them of the different lifeline cars have since assumed. Getting back to Mr. Bugatti, while an employee at De Dietrich, his visionary nature would lead him to come up with ideas that were quite ambitious for his time. For instance, in 1903, he designed a vehicle for the Paris-Madrid race, positioning the driver and mechanic low down in the chassis. The point? Well, to boost stability and aerodynamics. So here's the thing, this new design, now widely accepted, was so ahead of its time that Bugatti's vehicle was excluded from the race. Then the organizers considered a high seat to be the ideal design. Yes, you heard right. You'd think that would discourage Mr. Bugatti from pursuing his visionary ideas, but it did not. Three years later, in 1907, Bugatti was employed by Deutz, an engine manufacturer, as the head of production. There, Bugatti would design a car that was against the norms. This car was small and lightweight, a stark contradiction to larger scale, heavier duty vehicles that were a staple of the time. Think that's the end of it? Not quite so. In 1909, the Type 10, or Persang, was built. This time, Bugatti's unique invention was the transmission of power from the engine to the rear wheels via a multi-plate clutch and a drive shaft. This was highly unheard of at the time, seeing as cars were equipped with chain drive. Apart from that, Mr. Bugatti was the first person to use racing as a platform to showcase the performance of his cars in front of enthusiastic spectators. His excellent designs and speed made him a favorite, and within a short time, Bugatti's rivals started emulating him by using racing as a stage for their cars. So long story short, if you want to get rich, you need to be a visionary. Even if your ideas seem out of this world, keep working on them until they materialize. Your success depends on your ability to make your dreams come true, no matter how grand. 2. Seek perfection. Another tip for getting money straight from Mr. Bugatti's playbook is seeking perfection. I know that seems like a lot, but let me just elaborate here. Ettore always sought to perfect his car designs with each successive design. Specifically, Ettore designed the Type 35, which could hit more than 190 kilometers per hour, easily surpassing all its competitors. But that was not as perfect a score as he wanted, so he would make more improvements to it, designing the more superior Type 35B with a top speed of over 215 kilometers per hour. And if that hasn't hit you as hard, then this will. When the Type 35 entered the Targa Florio race in Sicily, Italy, for the first time in 1925, it instantly emerged tops. And on four other occasions, this model topped in this highly prestigious long-distance race on public mountain roads. If you don't know, this race was the toughest and most notorious street competition worldwide. And cumulatively, the Type 35 won approximately 2,000 races by the early 1930s, making it the most successful racing vehicle ever. Now, just to put a lid on this point, I have to mention that while you need to seek perfection, it's important to be ready to settle on any result, even if it's nothing near perfection. Don't pursue perfection at the expense of everything else. And here's a quote to reiterate that from George Orwell. The essence of being human is that one does not seek perfection, that one is sometimes willing to commit sins for the sake of loyalty. 3. Seek to break records. If you want to be rich, you need to be the first to do something. Besides being the first person to build the fastest car, Bugatti also became the first person to make the longest and most luxurious vehicle ever seen at the time, the Type 41 Royale. That's right, and what he did is also important for you. 
See, this is the thing. When you are the first to do something, people reward you with their money to access it. In fact, you have the freedom to set the price for your product as you want, because there's no competition. After all, your Pioneer product is the only one in the market at that time. Four, start your own business. This one is so obvious it should have been the first point, but don't worry, we can talk about it now. As mentioned earlier, Bugatti started his own automobile company, and we can all agree that it makes a huge part of his wealth. And even though the automobile company endured a spell of bankruptcy before being acquired by the Volkswagen Group, there's no denying that it brought much financial gain to a Tory when he was still in charge. That said, I must admit that starting a business is not the fastest way to be a millionaire or billionaire. Even so, because it is a more reliable and less volatile way of growing your wealth, especially compared to risky investments such as individual stocks. So how do you start a successful business? First of all, identify a niche market where you feel you are likely to excel. You want to cater to a specific need or desire to ensure you stand out from the competition. Five, make the most out of your talent. What's your talent? Is it drawing, writing, swimming, or running? You know best. But away from that, just like many people today, Ettore became rich by exploiting his talent to the maximum. The word is that Mr. Bugatti was a natural born engineer, so much so that he could master sophisticated designs without any formal training. Carlo Bugatti, Ettore's dad, took note of his gift when he fixed a motorized tricycle. Therefore, he urged the then 16-year-old Ettore to take an apprenticeship at the Prinetti and Stucchi factory. Ettore would keep refining his talent at the factory, and a year later, he had built his own motorized tricycle. Speaking of which, Mr. Bugatti competed in this very tricycle during the Paris-Bordeaux race, as if to show the world just how much he believed in his talent and his creation. But perhaps the true testament of his capability is his move from the Prinetti and Stucchi to founding his own automobile the following year. Six, be optimistic. To be honest, you can go so far in bringing your dream to life just by staying optimistic throughout the process. There's no denying that Atori was so optimistic with his designs, mostly starkly different at the time, would work out. And as fate would have it, his cars and automobile innovations ended up working when they hit the ground, bringing him much success and recognition in the process. Granted, it is easy to dismiss optimism as false hope. However, it is important to understand that optimism is simply having hope in what you're doing instead of praying for a miracle. Do you have a new product idea? Well, you need to be optimistic that it will work and that people will appreciate it. After all, if you are not optimistic, it will even be hard for you to convince people to support your project. Remember, your employees get motivated by you, so if you have a pessimistic outlook, you dim their morale and thus contributions to your project. Seven, stay disciplined. Starting a business requires capital, among other things, but keeping it running and successful takes much discipline. Mr. Bugatti is easily one of the most disciplined entrepreneurs in history. Despite the many challenges he faced, including being forced to sell his factory to a German by Germany's forces occupying the region in 1940, Bugatti kept the discipline to keep producing cars, at least up to his death in 1947. There you have it, guys. The top seven money rules we can learn from a Tory Bugatti. Now over to you. What other lessons do you think we can learn from this automobile proprietor? Let me know in the comments section below. Enjoy the video? Yes? Well, give us a like and share widely. Subscribe too and watch out for the next video. With that, we've come to the end of the episode. Catch you on the next one.